32-20 should be a good score. And that could be some more runs. It's been cut down to third man and it's going to be four runs. So ten runs in the service of far. It's a nice shot. Deep square leg, four runs. Summarily dispatched. The sixth is. Here's 40th over coming up, War to Gooch. Ah. He's out, LBW. So, Gooch depart. England have lost their third wicket. They are 167 for three. So, clipping back to the batsman. Gooch playing across the line. Hit on the back foot. He's right in front of the wicket.
Yes, no, yes, no. Yes. And finally, both of them stranded in the center of the wicket. There you say, Emery gave himself a bit of room, put him out the extra cover. And the man at the deep, Jeff Marsh, came in, picked up the ball, and threw it way over the wicketkeeper. And Emery coming for second. Saw the ball going over the top and want to take the third one because there was nobody at the stump at that time and then there was a bit of hesitation but it was a bit too late for Capital to make the ground. So England's one more wicket down. 229 for six. The Freitas will be facing Simon Davis now for the last delivery. And they'll go through for the single. 230 for six. At the end of the 50th over, Embury not out on 18 and De Freitas on 1. So Australia facing a target at 4.60 over and they start their innings in front of a fairly large crowd and we pick up the story in the opening moments of the first over. This is De Freitas bowling to Marsh. Oh, that's straight, and that's out. What a sensational start for England. Very bad luck for Marsh. It kept low and came back at him. You see the ball straight forward, pitched on the old stump, would have hit the middle. Jeff Marsh been very unlucky. The ball kept very low, and I think it was also beaten by pace. David Boone facing small. Runs here. De Freitas, the fielder at long leg, ticks two. Out. That's in the air and he's out. Caught by Robinson at mid off. Further trouble for Australia. Well, I'm out. Well taken by Robinson. pitched up delivery and he was away from the pitch of the ball just followed the th shot through and just got it scooped up off the ground and I think was a error of judgment split away to deep square leg Foster comes round to field the batters again played so far. He scored lots of runs. That's a lovely shot. Four runs. What a beautiful cover drive. And one thing about Border, a very large crowd watching the afternoon's play. This is John Embury from the Pavilion End. A beautiful shot. Four runs. That was a beautiful shot, and I'm so proud. Oh, good shot. Nice shot. That's going to be four. Yes, it is. <laughs> beautiful shot. Square of the wicket. It'll be his 26th 15 one day internationals if he gets it. And that's going to be it. Well played, Alan Border. The batsman comes back for the second. Broad does the fielding. And Alan Border is 51 not out. Acknowledging the cheers of this crowd, having completed his 26.50, this one's going to be four runs to the third man boundary. Going for the drive, the outside edge, past the vacant slip, down to the third man fence. And that's his 50, a fine 50 from him. The crowd here really giving him a wonderful applause for his third consecutive 50, a superb effort, one which has taken Australia to a position of strength. It's a lovely shot, four runs, an extra cover drive of perfect execution. 
He just moved into that half volley with tremendous relish, four runs. And that's going to be four. The deep mid wicket, a beautiful shot there. It's over in progress. carry to the boundary, it does. Four more to Ellen Border. It's up in the air, and he's going to be out caught by Broad. Very vital wicket for England. Crucial for Australia. Boone out. Well taken, well judged catch it. Long off by Chris Broad off the bowling of John Embry. There it is again. Well flighted delivery. Boone coming down the wicket. Trying to hit him over the top of mid-off. But couldn't clear it. Broad running in sideways. Ten yards. Hold it. Knee high. Twelve court. Thirty-ninth over still in progress. Australia 166 for three. Last batsman out, David Boone, well taken by Chris Broad off Embry. It's border facing Embry. It's out. That's up in the air, and is that out? Yes, it is. Well caught by Bailey. What a lovely catch that was to get rid of Alan Border. And a great over from Embry. Having dismissed both Boone and Border in that over. Border out for 84 of 104 balls, 5-4. And a dejected Australian captain walking back to the pavilion. There you are. A well-flighted delivery. Just around about like some border. In fact, middled it very well indeed. And just reached David Bailey. He just dived forward to hold a very well-held judge catch. A great education for any youngsters watching now. John Embry, the one of the world world-class off spinner, operating at this under these circumstances, keeping the length of line very tight. between Steve Ward and Simon O'Donnell. Just take a look at this again. Embry the bowler. Just spread it down to the square leg umpire. The set off for a run and then Steve Ward sent him back. It's a bit too late. And just gentle throw to the keeper. It just just lost the bells. 177 for five. So we come to the very last ball of John Embury's spell of 10 overs. He's taken two most valuable wickets of Dave Boone and Alan Border. Over the wicket now to Greg Matthews. They're going for two. Phil Edmonds. Very good fielding by Edmonds. Foster now bowling to war. Sixth wicket is down. There you see Neil Foster directing the ball, middle and leg. Steve Waugh wanted to hit him over the mid wicket, but inside neck onto his boots and then screwed back onto the off stump. Just, just lost the off bail. What an unlucky way of getting out. The new man in is Zora at the bowling end but it's uh, Matthews facing De Freitas who comes down the wicket lifts him over cover Kipples return it's going to be close and Matthews is home super start there's an appeal for a run out and he's gone 
a superb return, a backhand flick there by uh, Gooch. And that was a spectacular piece of fielding and a throw at the wicket. Let's watch it again. This is really brilliant fielding. Perfectly timed shot on the onside. Gooch diving on his left and just flipped it back with his right hand. Just enough to just rush the bail and I think Tim Zora was about a couple of inches out of the ground. Five runs in this over so far. The last ball coming up. He's out. Quartered cover. Gooch takes the catch. So he's figured in the fall of the last two wickets. Seven down for 200 and the writing very much on the wall. Let's watch the replay again. Short, hit it on the up, in the air, and straight to Gooch. Short cover. A very brave fight ended here. A very brave fight by Greg Matthews. He's always been a fighter. Lost his wicket in search of a victory for Australia.